952 then, James. I think I have 952. Okay, well, that'd be great if you have 952. Gerald? 953. Oh, 953. Right, well, we've got a 953, Carol, and a 952. So let's have James's 952. Three times 100. Uh, sorry, can I do 100 plus 6? Okay, 100 plus 6, yes? Is 106. Yeah. Um, multiplied by 3. It's 318. Um, I'd like to multiply by 75 now. Multiply it by 75? Yes, please. Um, multiply this by 75? Yes, please. Um, <laughs> And then divide it by something. Well, yes, in a minute, but... <laughs> okay, <that's laughs> I'm not quite clear what that makes, but that's certainly what I... I'd like to do 318 times 75. So times 75, and then what will you divide I'm going to take it? away 50. Oh, good grief, I'm going to need my calculator for this one. 318 times 75 um, is... Okay, <laughs> let's work it out. Um, 225 plus... 23,850, apparently. <laughs> okay, now take away 50. Sorry, I've gone now. 23,800. And divide by 25, I hope. And divide this by... <laughs> <laughs> by 25. Yeah. Do you know, I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> I think he's right. 952. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe that, Carol. Is that, I mean, I don't know what to say. Yeah, because if you multiplied that bit by the 4, that's how you get, because you divided like the 100 by the 25 to give you the 4, so you multiply that by the 4, and uh, that gives you the right answer. That is incredible, I have to say. That's probably the most incredible answer we've ever had on countdown. Amazing. So I think if ever a round of applause was deserved, it's now. Thank you. Thank you.